take away that back corner. Gerard Ergerbold from the left side of the field. A strong touch to start, but a perfectly timed up reset. Oh my goodness, Gerard. Here we go, guys. Gerard versus Prism, the first of our TikTok matchups. We might do a lot of TikTok matchups. I actually just noticed that the next gen symbol is still up there because we have been recently doing next gen. So I will make sure to take the next gen logo off. I think we've actually done a few matchups with the next gen there. Prism will score right away. A nice kickoff possession to take control. And Gerard unable to make the save off the back wall. So we talked a little bit about what these guys might be rated. It seems like they're around Grand Champ 1. Um, I think they might be a little bit higher than Grand Champ 1. The only reason why I say that is because I was talking to another player who I believe also was around Grand Champ 1, and yet he was under the impression that if he were to play these guys, he would get smoked. So if you're going to get smoked, then I would assume that these guys must be much higher than Grand Champ 1. But I guess we'll find out um, through their play today. Gerard, a nice flick. Prism trying to shadow. Not the best jump away. So a good strike back and forth. Um, I didn't get to see what the predictions were in chat, but I imagine they're somewhat equal. I think this is a good matchup uh, based on everything that I've seen. And based on the first 30 seconds of it, I have no reason to believe why not. Prism going to play this back wall defense and make it really easy on Gerard. Trying to get that early pre-jump. He's given a lot and lots of space to Gerard. Didn't want to pull the trigger on this one. Instead, up early and often, and Gerard can just drop it under. I think in this situation, the right way to play defense uh, against these players is probably to force them to outplay you before you start pre-jumping like that. And maybe Prism has played against Gerard before and, and given Gerard a lot of respect on that air dribble. He definitely went real high like he thought for sure Gerard was able to hit those, which by all means he might be able to. But usually if you're not going up against these top, top level guys, you want to uh, force them to outplay you and then start to respect their insane shot attempts. But Gerard, a couple quick plays, going up 3-2, a nice flick from Prism. This is extremely high scoring so far at the start of this one. Not a lot of defense on either side. Kickoffs, very, very important. I think after possession, uh, after the person has gained possession on a kickoff, that player has scored every time. I don't know if we've changed possession a single time. So kickoff's very, very important. Nice pre-flip from Prism to get back to this ball. Great 50. That's a nice shot from Prism. Once again, keeping up the uh, the consistency of first possession means a guaranteed goal. That's a great uh, last second adjustment there by Prism. The really good pre-flip to get to the ball and then the air roll at the end to angle his car back and force that 50 down into the bottom right corner of the net is actually a very high level play. Gerard going to find a way to grab possession off of the fake. Kicked off a great dribble to bring it back online, but the save going to be somewhat easy for Prism. Whenever you set up those dribbles and just barely squeeze them in the net, they're usually easily saved. A nice dribble from Prism the other way. And these guys trying to put a little bit of clips on each other. Maybe a uh, inherent style of TikTok legends. Nice shot from Prism. So the first back and forth is going to go in favor of Prism. Gerard getting a little bit extra greedy and a nice cut in field with low boost by Prism is a risky play if he wasn't able to get the 50 that he wanted, but the risk is going to pay off as he takes an easy open net. So 4-3 in favor of Prism. Nice musty setup into the air dribble. Didn't get the flick on it, but it did position his car really, really well. But the problem was it was slightly greedy and Gerard will take a straightforward run-of-the-mill counterattack. So, so far at the start of this one, it's looking like Prism, a very mechanical type player, not afraid to take it in the air on all these opportunities. Once again, up off the side wall. Flip reset from above the ball. Gonna have a really hard time using it, but it works out so well. This is the most five-head play of Prism of all time. Somehow, realizing he needed to cut off the ball, Gerard passed it backwards. Gerard cleared it to the back wall and somehow Prism had that read and it was already there to tap it back down and in. So a great play for Prism. How old are they? I think I think these guys, we're no longer doing next gen, so these guys aren't quite like 15, or sorry, under 15 years old like everybody else who's been playing on the stream recently. They are probably in their teens. I'd have to guess around 17 to 19 if you made me take a guess. Um, 
but I don't know for sure. Gerard going for a Daniel dribble. Such a hard dribble. He's going to take a ceiling reset, which is not a bad method. His wave dash connects, but he very wisely realizes no shot attempt to be had. And will give Prism a lot of space. Prism quick dribble. Lost control of that ball a little bit too fast. It means he can't make any play out of it. Has to retreat. Great dribble from Gerard. These guys are going at each other right now. A full field dribble from that back corner. That last second adjustment is so important. It's all about getting a touch after the defender makes their commit. So right as Prism jumps in the air, Gerard able to get one more touch. Push it out of his trajectory and in for a fifth. So three minutes in, very high scoring. And these guys are perfectly tied up. Prism not taking that early shot. I was wondering why he didn't use the little boost that he had to force an early shot. Must have thought Gerard was going to get back in time and then... Instead, went for the insane, uh, as Johnny would call it, mind game as he flew by the ball. Prism, long clear downfield. Looking like he's just trying to intercept Gerard, but did not quite have enough boost. Ooh, a big miss in that back corner. Luckily for Prism, Gerard must have thought there was no use in trying to pick up that boost, so he just rolled by that as well. At least they're both at zero instead of Prism tossing away that entire possession but now he's got the ball on his back line hunter boost and gerard trying to keep the pressure on up super early gonna have a hard time finding this angle but he drops it down and prism had no faith at all holy cow prism just thought gerard is not hitting this he had 80 boost and he just sets up in a situation he takes off ball cam and says you know what gerard's gonna miss and i'll take my open net afterwards but that was the wrong play and uh, Prism maybe getting a little bit lucky that Gerard was faking that kickoff as he completely missed. But Gerard was staying back in net. So 6-5, a minute left to go. Gerard trying to hold on to this one goal lead at the start of game number one. He is going to lose possession here at midfield. Prism given a lot of space. Gerard challenging or shadowing I should say at the perfect distance convincing Prism that he had an opportunity to flick it over him a nice high flick above and a second touch for a sixth this is a nice play deep in Gerard's corner way to slow the ball down just flick for height to get it over the challenging Gerard Gerard tried his best to pre-jump and get high but it didn't matter Prism has sent it to the moon so 30 seconds left and we have a good matchup indeed as Twitter promised us it would be. Prism, this air dribble, no way is he bringing that back online. But he has maintained possession, using up a lot of boost on this offensive play. Gerard, he just thought he was gonna have his opportunity to take the ball. He's trying to be so patient. Deep in his half, he's got 60 boost, and he says, you know what, Prism, you just keep taking your touches. I'll wait, wait for my opportunity to get a free counterattack, and uh, Prism will just tap it in for a seven. It's, is Prison a contact creator for Alpine? He is? Yeah, I, I didn't realize. That's cool that uh, Alpine was able to pick him up. Gerard. A lead late in this game. Looks like he's going to lose it over to Prism. 7-6 in favor of Prism. A great game number one. These guys going back and forth. Prism will take the lead. Gerard. Game one. Not sure if these guys are waiting for me. Let's do it. Prism versus Gerard. Game number two. I forgot to update the scoreboard. Gerard is going to fake this kickoff. I'll update it after the first goal. Prism scored last goal. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. That's something that you guys got to focus on if that's what you're betting on. Gerard. First shot on net in this match number two. Easily saved away. Good defense off the back wall. And Prism setting up an air dribble. Trying to slow this ball down. And find a way to get it in the net. Won't be able to connect. And the counterattack should have been there. Gerard going to be beating himself up. He made a great play. But was unable to get the finish. This ball bouncing dangerously at midfield. Neither one of these guys able to take possession. Gerard looking like he was trying to bump Prism. But when he didn't connect, he really put himself in a bad spot. 
and Prism will make the play. So we will go and update the scoreboard. Prism up 1-0 over Gerard. 420 on the score line. That means somebody in chat has got to give us a 420. Or 420 on the clock, I should say. Prism, he likes to default to these air dribbles. And Gerard, great defense off the back wall. A well-earned goal. Prism gonna give him the nice one. And for good reason. As he comes flying off the ceiling to take away this shot. A risky play, but it is going to work out as he gets his first goal. Prism, a clear off the backboard. A nice double touch. Prism definitely seeming like the more mechanical player in this one. Gerard has done a great job of staying in it, but certainly doesn't default to these high-flying plays like Prism likes to do so much. A little bit of a fake musty, but can't turn it into anything. Let's the ball drop onto the back wall. And Gerard trying to maintain a dribble here. Prism completely leaving the back corner. And can Gerard's flick make it? It can! It didn't seem like it was going to be able to. But Prism, the fake challenge, a little bit too deep. As he comes way far in. And Gerard able to find the distance on the flick to get it past Prism. A perfectly timed flick right as Prism was moving in closer. Gerard not closing the distance on that clear off the back wall. He is willing to let Prism take absolutely whatever he wants. A situation in which normally a player would try and keep the pressure on, not let, you know, a free open possession. Gerard preferring to play defense in his back net and make the save instead. Gerard doesn't have a boost to make a play. Going to try and roll us up the side wall. A dangerous situation. Prism might have been able to take it. Gerard not liking his setup. Going to leave open an opportunity for Prism to take the ball the other way. Neither one of these guys being able to gain a solid possession. The last few minutes, but Gerard will miss on the back wall, and that'll do it. Prism just rolling the ball ever so slowly around this corner. And Gerard, a little bit of an awkward angle, just above the ball ever so slightly is going to go flying by. So 2-2, a much low scoring, lower scoring affair from game number one. They were scoring on every single possession to start the show match, which is usually not what we see. I'd say at the start of show matches is when people are so hesitant and want to play really, really safe. But these guys have started off super hot and have worked their way slowly into a more reserve style. Prism not able to find this play from the corner. He is frequently finding himself above the ball on these air dribbles. And he can't hope for it to work out every time like it did on his one flip reset where we hovered above the ball. And luckily for him, Gerard slapped it up into his car. Not going to be happening too often. And this time around, he's punished for trying to fall on top of the ball. He's earned himself another dribble off the sidewall, but not able to pick that sidewall boost. So he's back on the ground. A great flick was slightly offline. Gerard slamming it the other way in this soft touch. What a save from Prism, but not going to matter. Gerard going to continue it up. Four-two. Gerard had an early lead in game number one. Wasn't able to hold on to it the entire way, but back and forth have these guys gone. Gerard, first possession, nice air dribble. Instead, going for that aerial shot. That was actually an insane save from Prism. He made it look insanely difficult. Not sure it needed to be that difficult, but saving it on his way into the net was able to keep it out. But Gerard still with possession. Another opportunity for an air dribble bump or some kind of air dribble. Gerard will take it to the top shelf, but man, he, he basically missed it intentionally. I don't know if he got afraid of Prism being able to save that and counterattack, but he took it way above the crossbar. Prism, tap on the back wall. Am I going to the next land? I uh, I think I'd like to go to the next land. Who knows when the next land's going to be, but I was going to go to the Dallas land, I think. 
was the plan until, you know, that one got canceled. Prism, long shot from the corner. He needs to get this double touch. Gerard, oh my goodness. That would have been a nasty shot from Prism. Gerard did not have the clear on the back wall, and maybe that's what threw Prism off on the angle. But very close to getting a third. He's going to need a couple more if he wants to take this gain number two. Using up all his boost in that corner. Nothing left to make a play. Gerard, maybe a double touch of his own. But gets a very soft wheel touch. So 18 seconds left. Prism needs a goal and he needs it right now. And air dribble seems to be what Prism wants to go to every single time. But he started that dribble from such a slow speed. It's hard to get the ball going when you stop from almost a standstill. And it cost him all his boost just to accelerate it even a little bit. So... Gerard is going to win a much low scoring, much lower scoring affair in game number two. I see he wins 4 2. I remember like RLCS got like a little bit of flack for canceling. Like just a little bit. And then like, of course, it turned out to be so obviously the right decision. Um, Prism, Gerard, game number three. All tied up. Are they doing it for content? These guys are top tier content creators. Or is it just as perfectly matched of a matchup as we could hope for? Prism with possession at midfield. A great pop setup to an air roll shot. Gerard trying to take it away before the um, air roll shot came out but was unable to get there. Gerard off the wall. Can he accelerate this one to the net? He can. And he made the ball take just about the longest path it could this is a hard shot but he takes the full bounce all the way up to the top right corner luckily he bounced it earlier i think if he bounced it any later prism actually would have saved it low on the ground so a perfect play from gerard 100 percent five head he knew exactly what he was doing a great delay 45 degree flick and prism will get a second gerard not able to get back in time but this is per that little bit of delay is what's so crucial to the shot going in. Gerard is in a position to make a save if Prism pulls the trigger on that flick early, but he very intentionally holds on to it, puts it behind Gerard, and will get his second. Prism right back to the air dribbles this time. Not getting these air dribbles coming out with enough speed to force a tough decision from Gerard. Gerard has been able to just wait in net. Nice play on the sidewall. So tough to make a read on when you can challenge in Gerard's position. And he thought he saw an opportunity, the ball hovering at what looked like an awkward spot, but Prism had the read so fast to take it away. Gerard looking silly as he goes flying by. So Prism up 3-1. Once again to the sidewall, this seems to be his favorite situation on the kickoff. A nice flip reset, but can't continue with the dribble. The Musty sends it high, and it's saved away. Prism has a very element-esque play style. Yeah, I can agree with that. Gerard, he wants his Daniel dribble. Full field, not liking the flip resets. Gerard sticking to the full field air dribbles. And what'll be crucial on those is making sure to save some boost right outside the net to make that last second adjustment because that is what makes those defenders miss when you make the adjustment after they're forced to commit. The 90 degree flick, leaving a little bit to be desired as these guys yet to put a strong attack in the last minute or so, trading back and forth. Prism, his flick is a nice lob and forces out a tough save from Gerard, but Gerard able to keep his car outside of the net. That's the key to making those saves as the offender you're trying to force a tough save that throws the defender into his net, puts him out of position, and then the continuation shot has a much higher chance of going in. That's a good barometer to know whether or not you have made a good enough shot to get a second attack. Gerard's wave dash touch passes the ball to Prism. Prism passes it back to Gerard in the corner, and Gerard back to Prism. A pass back and forth between these guys is both of them booming the ball just a little bit too much. Gerard had big eyes on that clear. He was really going to need to absolutely bang the crap out of that if he wanted to get it past Prism. But he did not bang it. He just gave it a nice regular touch, which 
It's just a perfect pass for Prism. He'll take it every day. Flip reset for Prism. Did he get it? No. Surely he would have tried to use it. As he cannot air dribble it above. Gerard, a low scoring affair for him this time. Only one goal in the first half of this game. Able to catch Prism at midfield. Punish him for going for that extra boost. So lots and lots of field space for Gerard. What is he going to throw on? A nice fast flick. But a little bit too far away from the net. Lost the ball on top of his car just a little. Was forced into taking that early flick. And Prism made the save. Gerard, a nice air dribble. That's such an interesting play. I'm surprised this ended up working out. Getting a little bit lost underneath the ball. Oh, he went for a uh, turtle flick. And somehow, did he bump Prism out of the way there? I have to watch that again. I don't get how that worked. But Prism, not able to make the save. Gerard getting a second as he tries to throw the clip on his opponent. You keep hearing Rizzo when you say Prism. Yeah, they are pretty similar. Gerard forced into the air on the fake challenge. The turtle bump. Oh my goodness, that was the deepest fake challenge I've ever seen. Gerard fake challenge so far that he almost actually challenged. He almost touched the ball. Gerard rolling dribble, trying to cut that ball on top of his car and then flick it back the other way to make Prism make up a snake, but unable to get it going a little bit too late. Gerard, another bouncing opportunity. Prism refusing to challenge early, and Gerard will air dribble it to that top net. It is what Gerard has been trying to do all series long. He has loved this air dribble, and when he executes it right, it's really hard to save. Perfect placement. And just, I don't think Prism even got a touch. Just squeezes it off that crossbar and in. So hard to save that ball away when it's as perfectly placed as Gerard put it. So slowly, Gerard is working his way back in. Prism, so great at these flip reset setups. The musty 50. Oh, no. Almost a dunk out of his mind on Gerard's save. Prism is searching for that clip. Ooh, but that is certainly not it. Not the best of challenges. Gerard going to have an open opportunity for a fourth. So once again, these guys keeping the game close as we approach the end. True masters of content here. Prism off the side wall, trying to set up a double touch, but let his car drop a little bit too far. Gerard gonna give him a lot of space, but Prism taking still too long to get his dribble going. Will now have another opportunity for a full field dribble. You know Prism has been loving these dribbles, especially from the left side, but a way too strong of a touch off the side wall. And his continuation touch ends up just passing the ball over to Gerard, and lucky for Prism. But Gerard wasn't able to get that fast counterattack. But 10 seconds left to go. Will this be overtime? Gerard, a nice tap away. Prism, so greedy. Gerard going to roll this one in for absolute free. The clock ticking down. Prism on offense. So greedy with zero boost. Thought for sure he was going to be able to challenge Gerard in the corner. But Gerard, a very slight touch was all he needed to get it past Prism. So Prism needs to keep this up, and he can't. So... GG, Prism taking game number one, but Gerard taking games two and three as he puts himself on match point. Gerard versus Prism. Gerard coming in clutch here at the ends of uh, games two and three after Prism going up early. But every single game has been close. They can all go either way. Prism, a nice air dribble bump. Not sure if we can call it an air dribble bump or if it's just a uh, night owl bump as he really only gets this ball about a double jump's height away, but forces Gerard to try and dodge him, and that ends up being the key that gets him the score. So I want to alt-tab here, hopefully get some of my frames back as I have been losing frames a little bit. Hopefully you guys can't tell. I'm just going under 150 and not dropping under 60. Prism up 1-0 at the start of this game at number four. Gerard, another dangerous touch. I'm surprised Prism didn't consider going up to tap that away. 
Gerard did not stay behind that ball long enough to not, you know, cover every opportunity. Nice, fast dribble. Prism just accelerating it faster than he thought. Prism has played a lot of slow dribbles so far this match. So this time, he accelerates it really, really early. And Gerard, not able to get caught up, was expecting another slow dribble from Prism. How does Fear not have 1K on his YouTube? This man's practically the NA Johnny Boy. I don't know, man. We're going to work towards getting that 1K. Nice cut and field. Great shot from Prism. I am losing lots and lots of frames, and I'm not exactly sure what I need to do about it. Um, I'm Hopefully, you guys are not losing frames in game. I'm going to try closing Discord. I never know what's good, what can help. Stream looks good. Okay, good. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, I mean... Technically, my top left FPS counter is only telling me that I'm going down to like 130 FPS, which is noticeable for me, but sometimes you guys uh, can say you notice it. Prism! Off to another good start, but he led a lot in game number four. This is a great air dribble by Prism. What a shot. He is in the zone right now. Gerard, that fake challenge. Not enough to stop Prism. So well placed. So high. Dead center of the net. Gerard low boost after Prism had been starving him. Didn't have a chance. So a minute into this one, and Prism on fire. Making it look like this is a foregone conclusion that he'll be taking game number four, but Gerard has found a way to make it back in the past. Prism is air dribble, not gonna connect, cannot finish it all the way out. Gerard, losing the ball there, I'm sure he didn't mean to get that strong of a touch, but these guys are passing the ball back and forth to each other in a lot of situations. Maybe a little bit nervous, a little bit panicky, would rather just slam the ball as far away from themselves as they can, but what results in basically handovers of possessions, but a nice long dribble from Gerard once again, as we've seen from kind of both these guys, getting caught a little bit under the dribble, Having a hard time making sure they can continue it all the way. It is lagging out. Yeah, I'm going to try and um, and restart it. So I just stopped and started the recording. Maybe that will help. Um, I never know what's going to do it. Sometimes just tabbing out and back in helps. Oh, you know what? Maybe somehow we have a display capture on. I'll check to see if we do. Prism off the side wall. His air dribble can't get it back online. Gerard, oh my goodness, that was almost nasty. He was, looked like a fake breezy setup, but he took it back down to the ground. Unfortunately, the second flick was against the back wall and not the net. Gerard, nice single flip pop. Has Prism in a tough spot, likely costing Prism a lot of boost to play defense right now. As long as Prism takes away every boost on the field, he should be in a good spot, but giving Prism a lot of time to reset. Prism all the way back into the corner. A great flick, but a little bit too strong. Gerald trying to set up a one-two punch, but cannot stick with it, and Prism will flick above him. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, let's see if display capture is on. It's not. We could turn it on and back off, maybe? Who knows, man? Who knows? My uh, PC says it's doing just fine, but... This is the first time that the frames have been rough in-game. Usually it's the internet that's uh, hurting us, but right now it's just Rocket League. A dominating performance in game number four from Prism, trying to give us that content, give us that game number five. Uh, this, this might actually help from turning the settings down. Prism, his ear dribble. Can't connect, but able to maintain possession. Gerard is yet to be able to take it away from him and a nice flick late. Will this be the first goal for Gerard? No, probably not, as this ball clears too deep into the corner. Prism has an open shot. Gerard save away as Prism sends it too high. So a minute left to go, and it's looking like Prism will not need to be scoring again as long as he keeps Gerard from getting a single goal in this game number four. Some insane defense from Prism all of a sudden. And guys, I think I think my PC just fixed itself randomly. 
Um, it all happened at once. That's so weird, man. Gerard! Not gonna get uh, donutted, or whatever the uh, popular term is. He is gonna get at least one. Oh, the Brazil! Prism trying to set up the Brazil. 47 seconds left to go. Sometimes you gift your game bugs and use like six gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't even mess with gig, uh, gift your game anymore because I thought it was maybe at fault, and now I'm just too afraid to turn it back on. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know what to tell you, but the game literally just instantly cured itself without me doing anything. But Gerard, he's gonna take away the Brazil opportunity. 33 seconds left to go. Four goals. I mean. Not impossible to bring it back. Not impossible. We, we've seen crazier things. But we do need Prism to basically straight up lose every kickoff. And you know what? That's not a bad idea. Fake the kickoff. And that will all but guarantee that he gets this win. Gerard drill up the sidewall. Flip reset. Looking for the clip. Top shelf. You know these guys are looking for that TikTok clip moment. Have yet to find it. Gerard will get a third. But with 10 seconds left, likely not going to matter. Ooh, nice delay. Gerard will easily get his fourth. Maybe can he get his fifth? Six seconds. That one took him maybe three. I think we need another cheese kickoff, but it's going to be so hard to predict the cheese kickoff. Now that Prism expects the cheese. Oh, yeah, he pushed it to the left. That's actually pretty dangerous from Prism, I would say. But it's going to work out. Huge double top. What a shot from Prism to secure this game. A great double touch to finish it off. A B-nag in the chat. Prism clutching the quick chat talk. <laughs> Nothing like saying B-nag after your nice shot. But Prism will take game number four as he sends it to a game number five. B-nag chat, B-nag. Prism out here hitting B-nags. Prism versus Gerard. I'm going to tab out and back in during this kickoff because we need to update the scoreboard. Guys, it's a game five. Get your game five hypes in the chat. We always hope for it, and every once in a while, we get it. But we should have known that the TikTok content creators were going to deliver, man. The kings of content. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> the kings of content. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> no better content than Prism. Absolutely missing this wide open net and Gerard has his back. Don't worry. He'll slam in the own goal. Oh my goodness, the kings of content. As Prism goes up 1-0 in this game number five. Gerard, nice ceiling play. What a shot. Perfectly played. We have seen him going for this delayed ceiling shot before this is just a great first touch that sets it all up hovering behind the ball waiting to use that flip until after prism has already committed on defense a great play from gerard to tie this one back up technically gerard has scored both goals slamming in that own goal and getting the first of uh this game numero five prism has a daniel dribble moment Full field dribble. He's going to go ceiling reset as well. He's going to have a hard time crying that on that, but it is bottom left corner. Gerard, what a save. Keeping Prism from getting that clip that he's been searching for all game. Interesting wave dash and uh, power slide to try and get to that boost. Not going to work. Gerard will take it away. Gerard off the side wall. Long shot, no boost. Prism going to have a lot of space. Trying to take the early power shot. Gerard clears it high. But this attack not over. A good challenge. And Prism unable to capitalize. Gerard going to try and play quick. But Prism has the recovery. And he will be there. So these guys, once again, tossing back and forth offensive possessions like we've seen them do so much this series. A great dribble. Oh my goodness, Gerard. A nice snaky dribble will get it past Prism. Prism for a moment here, turning his car away. What is he defending out there? When he's driving that far away, he is defending that back corner is not his net. And Gerard 
able to cut it back in field before Prism can make it back. So Prism up 2-1, another flick of a Prism, and it's too high, but the continuation will be a third. So Gerard has scored all, all four goals of this game number five. One of them just happened to be in his own net. But a uh, very stark swing from that game four in which Prism was scoring everything and Gerard was just along for the ride. Bounce dribble for Prism. Gerard, a couple different fake challenges and that front flip flick, not quite strong enough to get Gerard to miss on the defense. Prism, another air dribble off the left wall. He seems most comfortable on those dribbles from the left wall. Gerard just trying to buy some time right now to grab boost and he was almost able to pull Prism off the ball at midfield, that ball hovering at midfield. Both of them trying to fake challenge to get the other to not commit and almost works. A nice power shot from Gerard. 3-1, he's got a lot of space and time. Prism trying to cut it as much as he can. And a great close of the distance on defense from Prism and he'll get a second goal. Very smart from Prism, not waiting in net, not just letting Gerard have any free possession, closing that distance and getting a nice 50 and set up off the back wall. Halfway through this game, Prism down three to two. Gerard trying to keep this lead, take this game in game number five. Gerard, king of the likes on uh, TikTok, but Prism, king of the followers. So what's better, followers or likes? We'll find out right here. Prism, a nice demo. He's able to tap it in for an easy third. Another nice kickoff. Prism not going to go to the sidewall this time. Instead, a booming power shot. Oh my goodness. He almost found a sliver of a spot to uh, send that ball in past Gerard's defense, but off the post and out. Prism high arcing ball. That seemed like a kind of ball that Prism earlier in this matchup was fiending to go up for, but this time he'll stay down on the ground and let Gerard get a free touch. Ooh, Gerard up to make the save. Wow, what a five head play from Gerard. We're going to go ahead and say this is a mind game. So Gerard, instead of tapping this ball into the corner, misses intentionally so that Prism will try and take his back corner boost and the ball will bounce out to midfield for a long shot. Definitely what Gerard was trying to do 100% on purpose, so very smart play. Prism in a tough spot. Sent into his back half with no boost, but plays very, very confidently and unafraid. Able to get a long clear and buy himself an opportunity to refresh on boost. Gerard this time diving deep into Prism's half to take away that back corner. Gerard, air dribble from the left side of the field. A strong touch to start, but a perfectly timed flip reset. Oh my goodness, Gerard. Gerard popping off in this game number five. A great first touch, getting the flip reset just outside the net. And oh my goodness, that is unsavable. What a shot from Gerard. Putting himself up to 5-3 with 53 seconds left to go. Prism, bounce dribble, way too strong. Gerard will take it away and get a sixth. Not a bad idea to set up these bounce dribbles. They're normally so lethal, but Prism, that bounce dribble is too high. And Gerard will take his opportunity to hit on an open net for a sixth. 44 seconds left to go. It's not over for Prism, but the time is certainly not on his side. A nice boost steal to get control of the ball here, or at least he should. Gerard in a really tough spot. Gerard gonna have an opportunity to grab boost in his back corner. Prism shot off the ceiling, not strong enough to take it away. Gerard, nice wave dash into the continued shot. A great 50 and 7-3 with 10 seconds left to go. The dream was alive for a while, but a nice challenge to basically all but secure the game. Gerard. 
taking it in game number five against Prism. A great rebound after that game number four that was so heavily in Prism's favor. It looked like it was going to be a full-on shutout in game four, but Gerard got it figured out and won when it mattered as he will be the winner of the TikTok Legend matchup. So do you win an F-150?